All right, what um, what I want to record here is using a, a 5VZ Toyota engine bottom end with 3VZ uh, cylinder heads. And I've done a lot of searching around on YouTube and the internet, and I can't find uh, anybody that's done it. Some people have speculated. Some people think it's possible. And what I've decided to do is just try it. And I was going to share with people uh, what I what I've run into and uh, what you should expect if you plan on doing the same thing. Um, so the the vehicle this is going into is a, a ninety one four runner V six, and this engine came out of a two thousand uh, four runner. So some of the some of the things you'll have to uh, deal with right off the bat is um, the oil pump. The oil pump's not the same. I went ahead and put a new one on here just because I don't want to mess around with the used one. Uh, because the uh, the timing belt cover does not line up with your uh, 3VZ uh, belt cover and timing belt setup. And then your... Uh, where is Oh, right here. And then your... Uh, your fan support. Uh, one of the bolts, or studs, is in the correct location right off the bat, which is cool. And the other one, uh, the 3VZ doesn't use. But fortunately, uh, Toyota drilled and machined the mounting location for the 3VZ setup. So you just take this stud from here and move it to here. Actually, no. This one we're going to use. Oh, I stole it from here. That's right. So I stole it from here and moved it to here. Like so. And that lines up exactly like it's supposed to. Um, I can't use... I can't use the, uh, the 5VZ water pump. Uh, because it doesn't have the hinge for the uh, timing belt tensioner. The 5Z pivots down here on the oil pump and the 3VZ pivots up here. So I'll have to swap to a, a 3VZ oil pump, sorry water pump. Uh, what else? Engine mounts. So you can't use, oh, you can go back, you can't use the um, 5VZ engine mounts for two reasons. One reason, this is you look Look at the uh, height difference here. There's about an inch and a half, inch and a quarter to inch and a half clearance right here, which means this engine will physically sit higher than if you use the 3VZ mounts. See how close it is to the deck height here? It's like an, an inch plus. It'll set higher, so you got to use 3VZ engine mounts. And on top of that, you can see here, this mount has a hole in it, and this one doesn't. And on the 3VZ, your dipstick tube goes through this engine mount, right through there. Now, the most intimidating thing so far, which turned out to be not a big deal. This is not the, this is the dipstick tube that was on the front of the 5VZ. And I'll use it just to show you. This is where the dipstick goes on the 3VZ. So there was a big, uh, what would you call that, a boss? A little, you know, webbing bulge here for the 3VZ 
set up, but since the 5Z VZ didn't use it, it was just left undrilled. So, what I did was cobble together some junk metal. How did I do this? This is, oh, by the way, this is a 3VZ block right here. And it has the, uh, the hole already drilled. So I mounted this chunk of scrap metal here to the side where the engine mount goes. I ran a 3 8 drill, which fit just about right, from the, uh, from the bottom of the block through this bracket. So that what that did is that gave me um, an index or a jig so I could drill So I could drill this hole. Then what I did is just mounted this guy here, bolt it down, and I all I did is use this on my cordless uh, hand drill to drill all the way through the bottom of the um, block here, and it lined up well, and I'm happy how it turned out. Um, what else is there? Oh, two more things. The three VZs use a windage tray that uh, sandwiches in between the oil pan and the block. It physically sits in between and you bolt it down and that's where your windage tray sets. The five VZ bolts to the uh, the main girdle like this and then the 5 VZ oil book I just lost my gas the 5 VZ um, pickup tube assembly mounts out here with the same hardware as the windage tray while the 3 VZ oil pickup tube mounts to this center hole and this driver's side hole. So what I did, I don't know if you can see this, I had to cut a hole and kind of oblong it a little bit here so I could access a place, oops, a place to uh, bolt down this pickup tube because I want to keep the windage tray. So it uses this bolt hole this little guy in the center here and then I had to grind just a smidge on the lip here to get our, uh, get our oil, oil pump to set nicely in there. And I'm actually going to put a washer in between this foot just to match the uh, thickness of the windage tray here so, it, so it's not cocked or crooked. And then lastly, for today anyway, because this will probably be two or three parts, um, on the head gasket, I'm going with a um, multi-layer steel that's for a 5BZE setup. Now these are aftermarket, they're not factory. Here's the brand and part number. And they mark these left and right. As you can see, that's Alan's left driver's side. One modification I had to do on the head gasket is if you look, let me show you. This is a original equipment head gasket. This is just an oil return 
and this is a coolant uh, suction hole. And if you look, if you line this up here, no, I got that upside down, don't I? If you look here, the factory hole lines up with the lower half. This is kind of oval shaped here, but it lines up with this lower half of the circle on the factory OEM gasket right there. And then on the 3VZ gasket, got the gasket over there, I'm not going to mess with showing it to you, but the hole is actually offset this way. So half the hole would be covered up. So what I had to do is take a, a grinding stone and open this up. And fortunately, they, they left you a raised lip here, which is like a perfect marker or index. And the block seems to be cast for either one, for the three liter or the five liter setup. So you just gotta modify your head gasket just a little, just on the one side. On the passenger side, that one stays closed. It's 100% closed, and plus there's no hole there uh, for coolant anyway. So when you set your gasket up here, the hole lines up perfectly uh, on, on this side where it normally did. And then you open this side up so the um, the three VZ heads aren't half covered. They're, they're kind of, the hole's, the hole's a little offset. It's like the five Z's here, the three Z's here they kind of overlap each other so in order to not restrict uh, coolant flow you have to open this this opening up just a little bit and i think that's it for now so far there hasn't been anything that's like oh my gosh this isn't going to work uh, so far every every hurdle has been um, doable or straight up a walk in the park so when uh, we get to the next step, I'll make another video.